Hi, my name is Leo Lady, and if you're not familiar with me, I'm a small streamer on Twitch over on this page exactly. But today I am going to tell you how to climb out of the bronze hell that a lot of you have been experiencing in Final Fantasy XIV. The bronze hell can be qualified as the place that you cannot climb out of. A lot of people start to get desperate, very frustrated, and eventually even lose all hope and stop playing the game. However, that is not a good mentality. A lot of people are unable to recognize the problems. What are the certain things that they might be doing wrong? What are the things that could improve? And this is what I'm going to teach you today. When you're asking yourself, why would I listen to you? It's a very fair question. I am a certain person who climbed out of bronze right into gold within a span of a week? I would say like two or three days actually playing the game. And my partner is currently in crystal who climbed out of bronze too. Fair warning, everyone does start in bronze. It doesn't matter if you are in bronze right now, we can get you out of there. The very first thing that you have to remember is that you are not hard stuck. A lot of people start going into scenarios like PvP with a job that they feel comfortable with. Which is fair to an extent, but you should pick something that you feel comfortable playing as. It is entirely up to you, you can go out and find some guides for yourself, even ratings of different jobs. Trial and error is a huge deal in this. This is the reason why you should be picking a job that you feel comfortable with. Try out every single job that you have. Even if they are just level 30, 50, you just unlocked it. If it's high enough to do PvP with, you can do crystal conflict with that job. Gear and anything else doesn't really matter here. So you can genuinely just pick something and jump right into it. The target dummies are excellent practice. Go up to them, try to figure out which button does what. Try not to read too much into it. Let's be honest, you're not here to climb immediately to crystal. You can figure things out on the go. But try to feel what things do. And when you're ready, test your limit break too. It will be the most useful when you're doing these <laughs> within the crystalline conflict, but at least you won't be absolutely blind doing it. When you're signing up for a match, do consider which job you are taking. Even if you're uncomfortable with that, just go into it. You will learn the most on the go. It might be annoying for your teammates, but if you're willing to learn and you're there, if like I know basically what my abilities do and I know my role, I know I'm a healer, so probably I shouldn't be in the front lines. I know I'm a DPS, so probably I shouldn't be floor DPSing and dying. Once you have picked out a job, you will need to jump into actually playing matches. Go straight into ranked. If you're watching this video, there's a huge chance that you are basically stuck in bronze 3, 4, 2? You're stuck everywhere. So it doesn't really matter if you're going to lose some because eventually you will start winning too. Going to ranked, maximum, oh my god, you just accidentally climbed out into silver, oh no. So yeah, go right into ranked. You have nothing to lose. If you're losing, it's also your fault. Okay, don't hate on me. But imagine the scenario when there are other people in this group. You are also in that group. If you have lost the game, there's a huge chance that you might be actually the reason why your team has lost. I'm not saying that you're bad, and I'm not saying that I am bad. But I am saying that you have to actually look at yourself critically. What could I have done better? Was my position always on point? Did I target the targets that should be targeted? Did I actually heal my teammates or did I go rampaging healer again? Did I use my limit breaks well? The reason why you're not climbing is because you're not looking at yourself like a human being. You think you're perfect and you're not. And that's okay. When you finish a match, you are going to see all of your performances in the team. But we don't care about the others. What you should be looking at though is your personal performance. Look at your damage done and look at how much healing have you actually done as a healer. When you're considering your final damage and healing output, you should not forget that even if you're a damage dealer, your healing done does matter. And I don't know about others, but I am actually checking other DPSs. Because most likely, if you haven't healed yourself enough, you were dead most of the match. If you're dead, you cannot really contribute to the match. You won't be able to help out your team. So in this case, please try and keep by your recuperate and maybe even the standard issue elixir. So they're always convenient to reach on the keyboard and just 
please pay attention to your health. Dying will equal at least 11 seconds of falling out of the team. However, if you just run back and use your elixir, you're maximum gone for like, let's say six to seven seconds, as with the cast time being four seconds. It is always more valuable to try and retreat and safeguard yourself for a second than to mindlessly run in and die by yourself. With that said, there is an exception to this rule. While normally we do not throw ourselves to the enemy team trying to block with our body and immediately dying most probably, you should be body blocking them in the case that they are almost at the crystal point and the majority of the team, maybe even everyone else but you is rezzing. And you can hold them off just long enough until your team gets there. In any other scenario, it is useless and you're just wasting time, even if that means that you're losing the match. It's not worth it, you guys won't win. Communication is very scarce in this game mode. Yoshi P was gracious enough to give us some buttons in order to communicate. You won't be really able to coordinate with your teammates. That means that you won't be really able to tell what to do to the others. Which is all fair and good when you think about toxicity of other people and most of all you're gonna have a more chill time which I absolutely respect but sometimes I wish I could have told my teammates please focus the healer. They are alive because you are not killing the white mage. As a white mage it is not my duty to do that. Please help. Or maybe as a healer I would love to have a button that tells other people <laughs> that I am being harassed and I do need help. So yeah, communication is very, very scarce in this game mode. However, whatever you have, use it. I have no idea how many games I have won just by actually telling people I have someone on me. Attacking Dragoon, attacking anyone. People kind of realize that, oh, the white mage is in trouble and they sometimes turn around. With that said, please do not spam the buttons. It's very annoying and most probably people will go resentful of you. This does not mean that you should not be using them. Try to communicate as much as you can, but know that this is basically a solo play. You're responsible for yourself, especially as a damage dealer. Try to coordinate with the healer as a tank, and healers, try to keep your tanks alive. Especially if you're a gunbreaker. What are you even doing here? You just don't have enough HP to jump into the middle of it. I can't heal you fast enough. I can start my cast before you jump and you're dead. Practice makes perfect. You will fail. Alanoia, there is no literal de-ranking in the game, meaning that you cannot drop from silver to bronze or gold to silver. However, you will be losing your stars and your streaks, especially when you're on a streak. You will be losing. You have to accept the fact that sometimes the other team is going to demolish you even when you're not expecting it. Please really try to refrain from judging yours and the other team immediately. Just because they have a tank, it might mean that the tank is trying out tanking for the first time here. Maybe the other healer won't heal at all. You never know. Try not to grief yourself and your own mentality when it comes to it. Try to pay attention. Try to critically look at the situations before going into it. Try to adapt fast. When your team pushes, you push with them. When they are trying to be hesitant because a few people are missing, try to hesitate with them. Try to hold one single position. If you feel like you need to retreat, retreat. It's a solo mindset while trying to play in a team composition. It's a wild ride for everyone included. However, your responsibility is to adapt as fast as you can. You have to recognize situations when it's better to retreat, when is it good to use your LB, and when is it good to target single targets. My last and final thing that I can tell you is that everyone can climb. You are not a special wallflower. You are able to climb even if you haven't played MMOs in ages or ever. Climbing in crystalline conflict does depend on your team composition to an extent, but it mainly depends on your mindset and how much are you willing to put yourself into it. If you want to get better at a job, then get better at it. Try practicing go and go and go again. It's entirely up to you. There is no time limitations and so far we have absolutely zero idea when the PvP season might be ending. This season we have received a series milestone. However, a lot of us who have been actually playing the game have completed this already. I am very hopeful that next patch, I would speculate, we are going to receive a new milestone sheet. A new series maybe with new stuff in it not just the crystals because i don't know what to do with my crystals i have used up that i have collected so far 
on the glamour that I have wanted to collect. But right now, I just don't know what to do with all of these. <laughs> so I really hope that Yoshi P will be nice to us and we will be receiving new cosmetic rewards in the next season. Again, I would like to highlight that if you're stuck somewhere, it might be just a phase. It is a phase, mom. But you definitely can climb out of it. So I want you to ask yourself the question, am I playing the good job? Am I doing well on that job? Am I doing something that could contribute to these fights? Am I playing actually smart? Be self-critical. This is the only way that you will be able to grow. I don't want to take away your passion for your job, but if you feel like you're not doing well, you should definitely consider all of the steps that I have mentioned. So yeah, this is it. These are all the tips that I can share with you today. Honestly, they are not groundbreaking, but I feel like not a lot of people have heard that it's not the team, but you. On a side note, matchmaking can be quite of a adventure, the least to say. Sometimes teams can be extremely outbalanced and you have the exact right to rage but not to rage quit have fun peeps don't forget to kill the other healer because that's why they are not dying i hope you're having a lovely day and i hope that i really helped you out with at least the mindset how to climb out of bronze you can find me over on instagram twitter and obviously over on twitch right now i am not streaming a lot or at all I am working on my bachelor thesis and I feel like real life is taking up a lot more time than it should. But I will be back, so if you're curious about future content, you can find me here. But everywhere else, I'm still available. Thank you so much for coming. Have a lovely day. Bye!